Yeah, so metformin wise, I think um, looking at, you know, checking out somebody's HbA1c is also always going to be helpful and looking at their general metabolic risk profile um, and uh, looking at their body composition as well. Um, and but it, it can help with those. Um, Obviously, it can help from uh, if they've got an elevated HbA1c, certainly if they're drifting into the pre-diabetic range. Um, you want to be looking at all sort of lifestyle factors and what people's diets are like, because the other thing is that you want to be encouraging lifestyle changes if they're appropriate rather than medicating things unnecessarily. Um, and I think there are there is quite a large group of patients that come to TRT having had a really tough time of it over a really protracted period of time um, and kind of using that to really examine and get honest about your commitment towards your health as well can be quite helpful um, and using that to you know start looking at all elements of things um, also considering yes metformin does uh, you know can play a role with regards to um, management of metabolic um, the metabolic picture for some people who've been struggling with this for a longer period um, but also putting together actually if you're starting TRT you might be starting HCG and Tadalafil and adding metformin into the mix you can end up with you know um, Felix mentioned earlier on about the sort of the polypharmacy element of things and throwing drugs at a situation that might be managed by diet and exercise that you might find easier to do um, can be an extra, you know, it can be an, an amazing tool, don't get me wrong, but it can be that there are other things to try before adding in metformin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, I think just so, to, add to, what, to add to what Angela's saying there, like the, 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 the main consensus of evidence for metformin um, is that it, it, it does appear to have uh, sort of health span positive net benefits um but that's usually or it's it's believed it's quite controversial you can get people arguing for and against the use of metformin in this manner um but it's been shown to uh, reduce um sort of the incidence rate or severity of existing conditions like diabetes um and uh cardiovascular disease and cognitive decline and even certain cancers if you look in the evidence um but i, I think that's all indirectly via its uh, cellular metabolism uh, modulating properties and the, and it's um, and that's usually via enhancing enhancing insulin sensitivity which then reduces your weight which reduces oxidative stress and uh, therefore gives protective effects from a cardiovascular point of view particularly in the endothelial lining of blood vessels but it's all because you're improving that person's body habitus um, not necessarily as a direct result of the drug so I don't think in a dose dependent manner having a higher dose of metformin will will increase your health span by anything it will actually just make you uh, exercise more, eat better, and then it has indirect effects in insulin sensitivity. But yeah, there, there are there are fors and against, uh, like Angela was saying, of trying to keep uh, pharmacy simple um, and then yeah. actually finding a net benefit from a drug. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think like like I said, there are so many additional benefits that you can get from starting TRT and normalizing your testosterone mm -hmm. with regards to mood, with regards to energy level, um, and actually people often find that if they do, you know, if they have been challenged with a body habitus that isn't quite so healthy, often they find the motivation and they get up and go to do the exercise and start eating better and start doing a bit of reflection. Whereas before they've had so much brain fog about them that they, you know, struggle to plan their week around going to the gym and around eating and things like that. But actually, once they feel like they've been getting the help that they need, um, it really, really feels like things feel a little bit easier to tackle like that. So, yeah, I, I, I think... I would aim for lifestyle first and it certainly wouldn't be something that I started people off on. If there were weight management issues as well, I mean, the other thing you could think about would be um, GLP-1 inhibitors and um, sort of uh, semaglutide, for example, potentially. But again, it wouldn't be a starting point necessarily.